Hello and welcome back to God's Plan for Redemption. Now today we're going to look at our identification with Christ Jesus. Christ ascended into the heaven to be seated at the right hand of the Father. He had completed His mission. Praise the Lord. He had obtained eternal redemption for mankind. It was because of His substitutionary death and resurrection on our behalf. Hebrews 9, 12. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by His own blood, He entered in once into the heaven, holy place, excuse me, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Christ found and obtained for man the only method of eternal salvation. There are certain conditions one must meet to get it and to keep it. To identify with Christ, Let's look at the steps God took to bring forth this new creation. Let's walk that final mile with Jesus. Here's a question for you. How do I become legally redeemed from spiritual death? Well, step number one, be crucified with Christ. Romans 6, 6, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. On the cross, God made him to become sin for us. Jesus died for you. Step number two, die with Christ. Romans 6, 8. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. As his spirit left his physical body, and went into hell, we were identified with Him. Step number three, be buried with Christ. Colossians 2.12, buried with Him in baptism. Now, baptism is a type of our burial with Christ. In the mind of God, it was you and I there in that place of torment, bearing the judgment. On the basis of this identification, the man who receives the redemptive work of Christ, does not go to hell, but goes free. Praise the Lord. When the penalty had been paid, God could declare man righteous and legally freed from spiritual death. He then, he then had the right to impart life, that is, his own nature, to the spirit of man. The identification of man and Christ were made complete on that old rugged cross of Calvary. Step number four, be made alive with Christ. Ephesians 2.5, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. Romans 8.11, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by His Spirit that dwelleth in you. That word quicken means make alive or give life to. Step number five, be raised with Christ. Hebrews 2, 14 and 15 says that through death, Jesus destroyed him that had the power of death, that is the devil and delivered them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Jesus triumphed over Satan. Praise the Lord. His victory was our victory. He stripped Satan of his authority. Satan no longer has dominion, and our identification with Christ makes us free. So that brings you to step number six. Be seated with Christ. Ephesians 1 one twenty through 23 says we were raised from the dead. He was exalted at God's right hand, given authority over all powers, given a name above every name, put all things under his feet, gave him headship of the church, the fullness of him that filleth all. Amen. We are the church, his body. We are seated with him. Identify with Christ Jesus seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Use His mighty name. Take what is legally yours 
Put every enemy underfoot. Satan, sin, and sickness, put it underfoot. Reign as kings with Christ. Amen? And join me next time, and we'll look at a new creation.